everyone! I am really excited to see you guys today and to stream with you guys and celebrate this momentous occasion. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Let me know if the volume's okay, if I should change it, if I should, I don't know, do something different. Let me know, guys. I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Um, yeah. <laughs> Marie's like, I'm not having it. <laughs> I might have to let him go out soon because he actually like loves to sleep so if I'm too loud then he actually like grunts and then walks out the room so it's a very vocal dog um, but Murray's in here to celebrate the vol the the holidays with you guys uh, today obviously today is a big huge holiday it is Mario 10 Mario day Mario day but it's in March on the 10th that's why it's called Mario Day. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> volume's good, doggo in the background. Absolutely. Happy Mario Day to you too, Mario Luigi Gamer. Um, I'm really, really, really excited to be here. Dude, I love streaming and I know, I know, I have not been streaming a lot. Um, I've been really busy. I've been so busy. And the reason why is because I'm making five Nintendo DIYs and I didn't realize the scale and the difficulty of trying to edit five different videos. So, my life, <laughs> it's really, really crazy. Um, Mario Luigi Gamer, is that your dog? No, his name is Mar uh, his name is Mario. <laughs> his name is, look, he's gonna try to get out because he hates how loud it is right now, I think. I don't know if he's gonna try to get out. I might have to let him go out. I think he wants to go out. I'm gonna open the door, guys, for him. Hi, baby. Oh, okay. Here, you can go out. Okay, I got you. So, okay, so he's he's out. He's gone out of the building. Um, so <laughs> he he really loves his sleep. So if I disturb his sleep, he is not having it. Um, so no, that is not my dog. That is my sister's dog. Um, and his name is Murray. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, he is staying with, uh, me for, so far for almost a month. Um, my, it's my sister's dog. So if you know my sister, XX Fruitcake, she's a cosplayer for Bandai Namco. Um, she recently went to South Korea with her husband. Um, her husband is stationed, um, in South Korea. He's in the Air Force. Sadly, they couldn't take him, um, on the trip when they left. So we're trying to negotiate a way where we can bring him um, over to them in South Korea. So it's a, it's a, it's a process. Um, but if he is up to it, he will literally like just knock this door down and then just walk through. Uh, so you might see him come up on the bed sometimes. Just, you know, just ignore him. He's just chilling. Um, but yeah, Namco is the best. Absolutely. I love, love uh, Namco. Happy birthday, Murray. <laughs> Murray, yeah, so <clears throat> if you're ever interested in following Murray and his journey, um, my sister rescued him, which is absolutely so kind of her. Um, he does have an Instagram account, um, and you might have seen him on my Twitter a couple of times, um, but I believe it's Murray, is it Murray underscore of underscore sunshine on Instagram, so if you want to follow his journey he is such an amazing dog amazing dog um so <clears throat> i absolutely have been loving taking care of him for the past 30 days i've been running with him every single morning so after this stream i'm gonna go ahead and run with him um and get my exercise for the day out of the way so golden name <laughs> I know, isn't it cute, Murray of Sunshine? Um, it's really, really. Oh wait, Mario Sunshine. I'm gonna try to relate everything today, um, Mario-ish. <laughs> so um, I am wearing, of course, Mario gear. We got Nintendo 64 right here. Um, I am wearing um, Cake Worthy, the Cake Worthy plaid shirt, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. So. I'm like floored for today, guys. Um, the reason why I am streaming with you guys today is not only did we get a package from um, 
Zowie, and BenQ monitors. We also got two packages from Nintendo. One is for a game launch and the other one is for today, Mario Day. Um, so I am really, really excited to show you guys what they have sent us for today. So we do have Phoenix and Sargent in the chat. They are our amazing, incredible mods as always, and I hope you guys have been really, really good. We have Daniel Davis in the chat as usual, David Morjan, Sean Nguyen, L Dragon, uh, Martin Luigi Gamer, I see ya, uh, Mustang Mania 15, um, Lord Eddie, I am really, really excited to, again, unbox these um, special packages with you guys. So keep in mind, um, I'm going to unbox the VenQ one first, and then the special launch box from Nintendo, and then the Mario Day package from Nintendo. I also will talk about the reason why I haven't been streaming, and and I like don't know how to time manage at all. So this project was way more daunting than I thought, but I really want you guys to try this Nintendo DIY because if you're really excited for Pokemon Snap, you will absolutely love the next Nintendo DIYs. They are all Pokemon related. Um, so I'm really, really excited. Um, Mal, ah, thank you. I know, I'm really excited to be streaming today. Like, I wish I could stream more. I, I, get, I get so um, sad that I can't stream with you guys. Um, Sean, can you do more origami? The origami takes forever, forever. I will do one more, if anything, and then that's it, because the origami takes a really long time to make. Um, Summer Sammy, yes, I love you to you guys. Ah! Okay, so the cool thing um, that, again, I'll show you guys um, after this, not after the stream, that makes no sense, after we unbox the uh, packages, I will show you guys the five different, is it five? I can't even remember. Five different Nintendo DIYs that I'm making right now that are all Pokemon related. I'm really, really excited. So that's why I'm a little flustered because it's a big pro, it's a really big project. And my perfectionist in me is like, or has taken over. And that's why I have no time to stream right now. Um, Daniel Davis is asking how everyone is doing today. So guys, chat, let me know how your day is going so far. Um, it's a little gloomy where I'm at, but again, I'm gonna try to walk Murray after the stream because he is a very eccentric dog. He is very, needs to be walked. Um, essentially, he's half German Shepherd, half Husky, half Alaskan Malamute. So he really does need that, um, energy and that engagement. So I definitely will try to walk him after this stream, but yeah. Um, Dante Edwards doing all right. Um, are they related to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? They are related to, um, I would want to say not Diamond and Pearl, but they are related to Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Legends. So, <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, it's very warm where you are. Ooh. Um, okay, so, I'm ready to unbox the first package with you guys. So this package arrived like a month ago and I ha again, I haven't had the time to really, and I don't like to just unbox the package and then just like have it be on like Instagram and stuff. I actually really like to unbox things with you guys. I think that's something that we share that's really, um, that's really cool and personable. So um, I wanted to wait till I got to stream with you guys. And of course, Nintendo sent another package. So I was just like, I'm just gonna box them all because I think it'd be really cool. Um, so, <laughs> um, L Dragon, what is your favorite Mario Kart game? I had to say it's Double Dash. I'm sorry, I'm old school. Double Dash is like the best Mario game, guys. Come on. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> this is the first package. Um, again, it's uh, by or from uh, BenQ. BenQ has been amazing. You guys know if you've been with me for a while, we've unboxed, I think, two of their amazing monitors. And both of those monitors that I unboxed are like right in front of me. So uh, huge thank you to 
BenQ, and Zowie for providing the monitors so that I can see your guys' chat. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, um, do you remember like Mario Kart Like Home? I, are you talking about Mario Kart Live? I love that too. That is such a good concept. Like that was amazing to play with Jason's cousins who are like three and five years old. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and should I use an exacto? Oh, I don't wanna hurt myself. Really don't wanna hurt myself. Okay, so um, I'm gonna use <laughs> I'm gonna use the exacto. <clears throat> um, guys, do not unbox boxes like I do. Or actually, no, wait, there's pull tabs. Oh, okay, press firmly. Oh my gosh, if I break my nail or it bends backwards, I'm gonna really cry. Um, okay, so, woo! The first package, like I said, is from Ben Q. Wow, this is so sticky. Okay, ah! Okay, so, um, I'm gonna just pull it out. I don't know what it is. Ooh, what is this? I am so confused. Oh, there's a card in here. Oh, guys, we have to read the card first. Oh, it has my name. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that box over there. Look at the, oh, that's so cool. That's cute. I actually really like this. This is so adorable. So again, huge thank you to Ben Q. Um, they're so personable. What the heck? Uh, Chris almost injured herself. I did, yes, absolutely. How you doing, Calvin? How, what are you up to? Um, oh, she's like, thank you for your support in 2020. Looking forward to another exciting year together, Zowie. Oh, so cute. That's so adorable. So again, Ben Q and Zowie have been just so supportive of us and our community that we've built. Not only that, of course, Skillshare. Guys, we have a, a legit sponsor, Skillshare, which is actually something that Jay and I use to edit our videos and to learn like different things um, to up our game when it comes to content creating. So yeah, it's just really cool. Noah, Ghana Chris got her smash invite. You know, you know what's happening. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just really awesome to see how supportive they've been, not only again um, in 2020, but now we have a brand new year, 2021. So again, thank you so, so much to Ben Q and Zowie for providing the monitors that we stream with so I can see your guys' beautiful faces. Not really, but you know, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Eastlane, hello, how are you? Okay, so um, they gave us a shirt. Oh, and I love shirts, guys. Especially if they're oversized t-shirts. I love to sleep with oversized t-shirts. Oh, no way, this is a windbreaker. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at this quality. Look at the, this is awesome. What the heck? Yo. Okay, so it's reflective, water resistant, and there's an audio port? What the heck? No, oh my gosh, dude. That is so freaking cute. I'm gonna actually wear this when I walk Murray, because you guys have no idea, it's been really windy where I'm at, like super windy. And I get sick pretty easily, especially if it's windy, my throat dries up and it's not a good picture, um, but I don't have many windbreakers. I took I took Jay's <laughs> windbreaker, so if he's listening to the stream, I don't know where I put it. So, so yeah, at least now I have my own windbreaker. <laughs> but this is really, really cool. And again, it's not even pasted on there. It's actually embossed with the BenQ logo. Um, so yeah, huge thank you again to BenQ and Zowie for, again, supporting our amazing community, guys. Guys, seriously, I would not have this whole setup if it weren't for BenQ. So, very, very cool. Um, again, huge thank you to the team. I absolutely, absolutely appreciate them. And um, yeah, I mean, thank you, thank you so, so much. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next package. Um, and the next package, like I said, is from Nintendo. They sent it to me, I think a week ago, and I haven't had time to open it, but I thought today would be the perfect time to open it. Um, and I know what it is, but I don't know what's inside. So, I believe uh, last week, um, Braverly Default 
got released, two, Beverly Default 2 got released, um, and they sent me a very spe special package from it. Crazy enough, I've actually played Bravely Default the first one, um, so I'm really excited to dive into Bravely Default the second. Um, and it's so crazy because like I love hopping back into sequels. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually played Little Nightmares, and then I got to play Little Nightmares 2 recently. And dude, like my friend said, the lore is so, so awesome. So I highly recommend Bravely Default and Little Nightmares. They're just really, really, really good games. So, Nintendo unboxing time. Again, we have two boxes to unbox today. Um, and again, I'm so, so um, really excited to see what's inside this box because I have no idea. We have two. So I don't know. Again, I just know the theme. Um, and then the other box is, of course, obviously for Mario Day, and I don't know what's inside that. That one's a mystery. Um, so, the first package from Nintendo is a heavy one. Very heavy um, compared to the Mario uh, Mario Day box. Um, so, it was very, very interesting. But crazy enough, okay, so, like, they delivered this box to me, and then I wasn't home. And so then I had to go and pick it up. Um, so, as you can tell, it's been struggle, guys. So struggle. Um, Daniel Davis, happy Mario Day! Um, I've seen plenty of Little Nightmares recently, need to try that out sometime. David, I really recommend it, um, because, uh, it's just a really, really cool game. Uh, and the story behind it, I don't want to give away too much, but the story behind it, um, is really unique. I, I love it. I think, um... It's really hard to get the concept at first, but then um, Jay and I like to, I don't know if you guys like to do this too, let me know chat if you like to do this too, but every time I watch a movie or play a game, I actually like to watch explanation videos on YouTube to try to really understand um, what the, I guess like the director or artist was trying to go for. So let me know if you guys are the same way, I don't, I have no idea. Um, please don't dox yourself. Oh yeah, no, I, <laughs> cause you know I'm used to that. Um, I covered my address, it's okay. I tend to do that a lot. So I think we're good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. We won't, we won't dox ourselves today. Um, maybe it's a cosplay figure, I have no idea. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this box. And again, you guys know how I like to open boxes. I'm putting the X-Acto near my mouse. That's really bad. I should probably put it over here. <laughs> Watch me. I'm so bad when it comes to um, the exacto and scissors. Please do not copy me at all. I am terrible. Um, and I've, I've definitely cut myself several times with the exacto, guys. Trust. It's not fun. It's not pretty. And if I can help you guys avoid an incident, I will definitely try my best. Okay, so how do you open this box? <laughs> I think this is how it opens, no? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so, are you guys ready? I'm gonna try to do this. Okay, so this is from Nintendo. Ooh! I don't know, ooh! Okay, there's a letter. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try to read the letter for you guys. Okay, it's time to start your journey through the world of excellence. But before you do, you'll need to prepare for your unforgettable quest with this Four Crystals Adventure Pack. Inside, you'll find five, five items to get your voyage started. The first item is part of this note. By enter, entering the mysterious code in your Nintendo Switch system, you can download... Ooh! So, Bravely Default 2, they gave me a code, which is awesome. So, maybe I can play and live stream with you guys. That would be awesome. Um, ooh, there's a, there's a quiz. Excuse me? I would probably not be able to solve this quiz. I'll probably have to help, have you guys help me, to be honest. Um, Gunna Chris and Jay are more powerful than the Mario Bros. <laughs> I don't think so, but, um, thank you. <laughs> um, let's see, the first is a reversal poster for Bravely Default 2 that you can put anywhere on your bedroom wall. Oh! Should I put it on this wall right now? I'm so down. We're about to decorate my room. 
Um, and finally, bask your eyes in the legendary four crystals of Exilla. They're not the real crystals, of course, but they do reflect the crystals your heroes will encounter in the game. We hope you, we hope these items find you well. P please use them to assist you on your quest to save the world, or at the very least, further embellish and enhance your gaming space. Your friends at Nintendo. So huge thank you to Nintendo. Um, so we have, what was it? A poster and crystals. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I open the box. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take out this lovely, okay, wait a second. So I don't know if you guys are from the East Coast, let me know. Um, the poster's from my Nintendo. It is? What? It is? No way. Okay, that is so cool. Have you guys gotten all the My Nintendo um, Merc? Let me know, because the pins are so hard to get. Let me know how your guys' journey is with that so far. Um, but if you're from the East Coast, um, Jay is from New Jersey, and here, like where I live, we don't have a lot of antique shops. So Jay always constantly looks for antiques. Um, but it's, again, like I said, really hard where I live because we're such a brand new city. So we don't really get those authentic items. Um, so I'm already loving this chest and I know Jay will love it too because it's leather. Um, and it's so hard to find chests like these because usually it's like wood or something. But this is actually legit leather. So it's pretty awesome. Julian, hello! Where are you guys from? I'm from the East Coast, Daniel Davis. You are from Cleveland, Ohio. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so, hello, I am late, but I'm here. Zaya the Rebel, hello. Gamer Mystique. Okay, so, oh, I got hit with the box. I'm gonna try to take this out. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so there's nothing else in this box, guys. So, this is done. Um, <laughs> so this is what the, oh, this is such a good, look how cute this treasure chest is. I'm gonna use this in pictures. Like, this is so, so cute. And again, to find a quality like this is really, really hard. So, I don't know where they got this, but it looks adorable. Again, this is from Nintendo. So, again, huge thank you to Nintendo for providing this and sending this um, to me to unbox with you guys. It's gonna be awesome. Um, oh my god, the pins are so hard to get. Sean, did you get all of them? Has anyone actually got all of them? Let me know, guys. Um, I'm, it's so hard to get them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and latch it. You guys get to see it first. Okay, that's not unlatched. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I was like, am I gonna break this? Okay, you guys ready? Da! Oh, there's a, there's a little note in there. Oh, so this is, is this the poster? This setup is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna slowly take this out. I don't wanna destroy this paper. Oh! Okay, look, there's the questionnaire that they sent inside. That's a really neat idea. They actually stuck it on the lid. That's so cool. They look so cool, right? This is so crazy. I got all the sets. They're huge, aren't they? They're like gigantic is what I heard. Okay, so Braverly default to guys. Look at that. Very, very cool. Um, and on here, um, oh, okay, so this goes with the quiz. This is some really thick paper. Sorry, as an artist, you notice things. Um, and this is printed on really good paper. Like, I wish you guys could feel <laughs> this paper and see how thick it is. It's like not your typical paper. Uh, okay, so there are um, items and stuff, and I believe these are some of the weapons and the dressings that you can get. So very, very cool. Again, it goes along with the quiz. Did you guys wanna do the quiz with me? I don't know if you guys want to do the quiz with me, but we'll see. Oh my gosh. Okay, use this table to calculate points. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would fail this. Has anyone played um, De Braverly Default 2? Let me know, chat. Who's played Braverly Default 2 and would actually nail this quiz? I would probably fail it because I suck at tests. Anyone else suck at taking tests? Because I do. I'm freaking terrible. Um, so school was like not my thing and still is. It's n still not my thing. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and dive into this green um, mesh 
Uh, I suck at test taking. Yeah, dude, I get I get way too nervous and anxious. I just can't do tests. I uh, I can't. I can't. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's so messy. I actually thought that this would come out all at once together. It did not. If you guys can see my desk right now, I really don't want to show you guys my desk because it's so messy. You guys want to see my desk? <laughs> okay, I thought here. I thought that it would come out like all at once, but it didn't. Now it's all over my lap. And um, yeah, I have to clean this. <laughs> Eventually. Um, Sean, just got a 98 on my math test? Yeah, I don't know how you did that, but <laughs> that is awesome. Keep doing it. Keep killing it. Um, stay in school, guys. It's very, very important. Okay, so I want to take out the poster first before we take out the crystals. Can I be honest? So we're going to go ahead and take out the poster, which, by the way, guys, oh, the poster's on felt. That's surprising. Can I be honest? Usually when I get posters, they're on paper. This is actually on felt, tied with a beautiful ribbon. It's those small accents that I really appreciate from the Nintendo team. I mean, this, this is cute. Very cute. You love my Pokemon mug? I know, I cleaned it to use it. And, I, and, and there's nothing in it. <laughs> oh, I have... I ordered matcha green tea, and I haven't put it in there yet, so I'm gonna go do that. That's not the My Nintendo poster. So it isn't? Wait, is the My Nintendo poster paper? Because this is felt. Like, this is like actual felt. Um... <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, I'm gonna unravel it this way for you guys. <gasps> this is so cute! Is it upside down? Oh no, it's not upside down. This is so, so cute. Is it upside down? No, 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 it's not upside down. Okay, so I'm gonna assume this is the map in Bravely Default 2. Um, so this is, yeah, this is not paper, guys. This is actual material. In fact, there is a tag, and um, it doesn't say what it's made out of, but <laughs> it is like a felt paper. So I actually prefer this because paper I usually like bend and you know, it gets creases and stuff. This is actually like, this is legit. This is pretty cool. Um, it's just paper, okay. Yeah, this is actually really, really cool. It's bendable, does increase. This is actually really, really good material. So, the last thing that they sent for Bravely Default, not only again did they send the quiz, the map, they also sent crystals. Is that, okay. I thought I put four fingers up, crystals. Um, so, this is the crystal bag, and it's in this black case. Uh, I already love the chest, so this is like, this is already goals. Like, if they just sent this, Jay and I will, will absolutely display this, for sure. Um, because Jay, obviously, again, loves antiques. So, uh, really, really cool. Okay, so, now the next one is, of course, the crystals. So, I'm gonna actually see these when you guys see these. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, like, Kind of put them out. The first color is a blue one. Guys, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty. That is so gorgeous. What the heck? Oh, I'm so displaying these. I'm going to take a really nice picture for you guys because that's so pretty. If the camera will focus. Camera's not focusing! Oh my gosh, camera focus, please! Show off this beauty! Look at that. Okay, so the blue one came out first. I'm gonna go ahead and see the next one. Is there four crystals? Four crystals in total. We have the yellow one. <gasps> so cute! It's smaller than the blue one, but adorable. I don't know if you guys know this, but every time I play board games and I choose the yellow uh, color, I tend to win. I don't know why, but I find it as my lucky color. Um, but yeah, Taste, I bet it tastes like blue. <laughs> Blue, blue, the blue crystal matches your shirt. It does. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, what the heck? That is so cool. I am 
loving these crystals. Okay, so the next one is another... Wait, green. Green. Actually, okay, wait. So this is the blue. This is the green. There is a difference. Um, is this green? I don't know. Turquoise green? I don't know. So <laughs> this is the turquoise green crystal. Look at that. So super pretty. And the last one, my desk is so messy, is the red one. Look at that. That's so pretty. Do you guys collect stones or crystals? Let me know, guys. Let me know. So this is, again, um, for Braverly Default 2. It got released... Um, I believe last week and Nintendo sent me this amazing amazing care package to celebrate the release of Braverly Default 2. So again, huge thank you to Nintendo. Um, I'm probably going to fail the questionnaire, so I'm probably not going to do it because, you know, I'll tell you guys what my score is afterwards. How about that? But I want to see what kind of, kind of questions there are on this. So let's see. Oh, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, these are questions about <gasps> about you. This is not even questions about the game. Are you guys ready to do this? Do you guys want to do this? Do this now or do this afterwards? Let me know, chat. Do you guys want to do this now or afterwards? Because it's actually really cool. It's kind of like a personality test. Are you guys ready? The first question is, what is your favorite color? I actually would want to do this so you guys can answer in the chat. Do you guys want to do this afterwards? This is actually pretty legit. Now? You guys want to do it now? Oh my god! Okay, we're gonna okay, we're gonna do some questions. There's a lot of questions. How many questions are there? There's nine questions. Do you have enough time for this? No, there's ten questions. Yes? Okay, so we're gonna do this real quick. <laughs> Cause I am actually really down. Have you guys ever taken personality quizzes? Let me know. Okay, so um I wanna okay, I wanna know everyone's favorite color. So what is everyone's favorite color? I know Noah likes purple. Um, Iron Gamer likes green. Lord Eddie likes black. Yo, Lord Eddie. Yes. Yes. Sean. Sean Nguyen. Yo. Okay. Maroon Red. Maroon Burgundy. Yes. Oh, yes. Mystic Zero Red. David Morjan Blue. Maroon. I. Okay, so my favorite color. And I don't think they have it on here. So I guess I can just mark it. Oh, it's so hard. I'm going to mark red. However, I will tell you guys, this Sharpie doesn't work. Um, however, I will tell you guys my favorite color uh, combo. And so my favorite color combo of all time is red. So specifically maroon red, black, and silver. I love that color combination. Let me know what your favorite color combination is. So I'm going to go mark it red for the sake of just filling this out even though they don't have a rune red it's totally fine um <laughs> let's go yo this is pretty cool so maroon yeah maroon gang dude i love maroon i don't know what about it it's just so elegant i guess is the the term um it's so crazy because i took this recent personality test with my friends and it was really accurate um but black is good though tell okay guys let if i had to choose three favorite colors again it's Maroon red, black, and silver. Those are my favorite, favorite colors. And funny thing is, when I graduated from the video game club in high school, there's only three people who had the video game club cords, and the cords were red and black. So it was like meant to be. Um, cyan, blue, and green. Ooh, green, red, and blue, and yellow, orange, and purple. So the whole spectrum, all right. Um, so question number two. If you were to write a book about your life, what genre would it be? And there's a lot of options, okay? So I'm gonna read the options, guys. Either action and adventure, romance, sci-fi, fantasy, young adult, mystery, comedy and humor, or biography, of course. Let me know. I think if I had to choose one, it would probably... Do you say horror? Who said horror? <laughs> it's not even an option, but I wonder why it's not even an option. I'm going to choose comedy and humor because that is like a huge trait that I absolutely love. 
um, in people, if you can make me laugh, I absolutely love you. Just because I'm very eccentric too. So yeah, action and adventure for Iron Gamer animations, adventure, romance or action and adventure, Omari, comedy, yo, comedy. I don't know why, I feel like even like, okay, so I went to the gym yesterday and something happened. I won't say what happened because I it was very disheartening. Um, but uh, even though it happened, I actually was cracking jokes the entire time and it kind of made me feel better and everyone else was laughing. So it's, I feel like comedy can heal a lot of things. Comedy, but the sick twisted one. <laughs> That is too funny. Okay, um, Mario Luigi Green. My Mario Red Luigi Green. Yes. Um, Committee Avenger. Have you guys watched uh, WandaVision? Let me know, guys. Um, that thing is so, so good. Um, I just saw Committee Avenger and thought, like, the Avengers. Sorry, that was like, it trailed off. My, my attention span was just, like, somewhere else. Okay, so anyways. Um... Question number three, what time of the day do you have the most energy? Are you guys ready? Before the sunrise, early morning, morning, midday, afternoon, early evening, late evening, night owl. And this is a tricky question for me personally because I have as much energy as the people that surround me. Does that make any sense? So if I'm like in a public place and I, meet someone for the first time i go off of their energy like i go off of their energy and good vibes um so this is pretty difficult and i can do either or depending on what I need to get done so i'm gonna say early morning not before the sunrise because that's way too early but i'm gonna say early morning um i think that's a pretty good one so b what do you guys choose? Who's a night owl? Who? Let me know. Who's who's like who's like Batman? <laughs> Who is more awake at night, guys? Cause I applaud you guys for having so much energy at night. Especially if you're a streamer, let me know. But if you guys stream at night, kudos to you guys. You guys have so much energy. Like I don't know how you guys do it. Um, night owls, yo, yeah. Oh, all you guys are night owls. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, question number four. What extracurriculars did you participate in as a kid? And this is like, guys, look, the first answer is arts and crafts. <laughs> so, <laughs> obviously, wait, is there video games though? Huh. Okay, I actually, what did you guys do in, in high school? Let me know. Um, because I played tennis in high school. I played dodgeball in high school. I know, crazy. I love dodgeball. I participated in the big game club in high school. I was also um, in the Japanese club for the first two years, but that's pretty much it. Um, so let me know what you guys did. I did sports and yearbook. You did yearbook? <laughs> that's cool. That's actually really, really cool. Um, I think I did the video game club, arts and crafts, super Lucas. Yes. Okay, so I'm obviously going to mark arts and crafts. Um, I think that's the biggest one and the most consistent that I did in high school. Um, yes, most consistent. Um, if you could live anywhere, where would you choose to live? Um, in a bustling city, along a beautiful ocean beach, a secluded cottage in the woods, calm and cozy suburb, uh, in a huge mansion surrounded by wealth. <laughs> Who is that in the chat? Let me know. I'm not, hey, I'm not knocking it. I mean, I would love that too. If I could choose multiple options, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> uh, what was the other one? Um, in a small town where everyone knows your name is something I would not ever choose. I've heard horror stories of living in a small town and everyone is up in your business. No. Mansion! Sounds like mansion. Tokyo or New York? Summer Sammy. I love, 
love that idea. Um, both of those ideas are actually really, really awesome. Jay and I even at one point were considering going to New York. So um, I feel you on that. That's actually really, really cool. Uh, mansion gang, yo, mansion. I, hey, I wouldn't knock it. I mean, if I could choose several options here, that would be awesome. Um, in a foreign country where I'm consistently learning new things, let me know. Anywhere I want, always on the move. Ooh, so who is a wonderlust? Wonderlust, is that what it's called? <laughs> Let me know if you like to travel. Um, if I had to choose right now in my current state of mind, I would probably choose a bustling city like New York or Seattle. What else is there? <laughs> I think I'm just thinking more New York. Okay, so, um, let's see, let's see. Question number six. <laughs> You'd be a wonderer? Well, awesome, awesome. Okay, so, again guys, we have one more box to unbox after this. Whoa. We have one more package to unbox after this. I like that, that's a better sentence. Um, and that one is actually relating to Mario Day. So I promise we're gonna get through this real quick. We only have like five more questions, so we're good. Um, what type of clothing do you prefer to wear? Casual and comfortable, classic and timeless, colorful and fun, I feel like Lucas, that is you. Uh, flowy, loose and free, let me know. You Utilitarian and well-worn, elegant and fashionable um, I like to mix it up whatever I happen to grab from my closet let me know what you guys are I think honestly for me it could be whatever I happen to grab from my closet or casual and comfortable I will walk out especially now since we have to wear masks and like our face doesn't really care matter too much um, I will go calm and comfortable so uh, I will definitely go casual Sean oh my god why are we on this wavelength right now you understand me um okay so that is pretty good listen free baby Devonte Edwards you're that is probably Jay's answer too can I be honest I don't doubt that he would choose that um question number seven how would your friends describe you Ooh, this is this is gonna be really interesting. I wonder if I have any friends, like in real life friends in the chat right now. <laughs> um, outgoing and friendly, tough and dependable, smart and resourceful, kind and empathetic, reserved and composed, creative and original, determined and passionate, spiritual and enigmatic. Enigmatic. <laughs> Energetic and crazy. Quirky, oh, that's such a good word to describe people. I'm quirky too. I would say kind. Oh, Mystic Zero, you are very kind. Put very in front of kind. You are very kind. Colors are life is what Summer Sammy says. I am going to put, because I really don't know. I'm actually very interested. I, I wish I had a friend to ask, because it's better to get like a third person, you know, type of view. So I'm going to do creative and original, just because. I don't know, it might be a little boring, but it kind of goes along with the art, and I don't know what else to put. So <laughs> I'm going to go creative and original. Um. The next one, what's your favorite thing to do when you've got some downtime? Okay, so downtime. What do you guys like to do in town? Well, who's kind and quiet? <gasps> Devonte Edwards, aw. Who's leaving? See ya, Mario and Luigi. <gasps> Mario and Luigi Gaming, are you leaving? Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, this will be up on my channel if you want to see the rest of the stream, so don't worry. We still have one more box to unbox. I hate that sentence. We have one more package to unbox after this. Uh, Eastleen, I think you need to rephrase that sentence. You have friends, but you just haven't seen them in a while, which is the same case for me. I have friends, but I haven't seen them in a while. I um, mean, I miss them. And I know it's really hard, but I really highly recommend that you just get on a Zoom call and just talk to them. It's really, really cool. Okay, sorry, downtime. Um, read a book, start watching a new TV show, self-care, so face masks, manicure, etc. Go for a run. Call slash video chat with your friends, tidy your house or do laundry, crafting, take a nap. Do I have to do crafting? <laughs> this is so... <laughs> oh, Lord Eddie, you're so sweet. That's why I love our community, guys. I'm going to choose crafting. 
But before we move on to the last two questions, um, no, you guys are honestly the best community. Um, and I'm not saying that to just say that. Like, I rarely get hate comments or whatever. Like, our community is so positive. Um, and yeah, I, that's what I love most about our community. And I can't, and I hope that one day I can give back as much as you guys have given me throughout the years. So I think it's gonna, you know, I think our community is just gonna continue to grow, but continue to spread that positivity. So if you don't have friends out there, you guys have a friend in me and everyone else in the chat, reach out, you know, feel free to make new relationships online, you know? I don't, I rarely, I rarely do. I rarely do. It's so rare. I'm so lucky. <laughs> I'm so very lucky. I barely get any hate comments. So thank you. Thank you for the positivity. That's all on you guys. Like how our community is perceived, that's all on you guys. And so far we've had such an amazing rep because of you. So all the mods and members and people in the chat right now watching, it's because of you guys. So anyways. Um, question number nine, what sounds tastiest to you? A warm bowl of soup, a nice fresh salad, a big old steak, a bunch of sweet candy, full breakfast with eggs, bacon, toast, the works, a sushi roll with fresh fish, spiced curry with rice, burger and french fries. Yo, a sushi roll with fresh fish or spicy and curry with rice sounds so amazing. I am... Oh, I don't know what to choose. I think I'm gonna choose sushi because I love sushi. Mystic Zero Sushi! Yo, okay, so yes, let's go. Sushi, sushi roll. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> soup, Sergeant, Sergeant says soup. Calvin, choosing Raising Cane's. <laughs> Calvin, if that was an option on here, you know that would be marked already. In fact, it would probably arrive marked already. The team pro at Nintendo probably already knows that I love Raising Cane's. They probably were thinking like, should we put Raising Cane's as an option? <laughs> I don't doubt. Um, ooh, steak, nice. Um, yeah, sushi with a fresh fish sounds amazing. Everything else sounds really good. I just had soup yesterday because it was cold. So I think it also depends obviously on the weather. Um, number 10, what's your favorite series for a Nintendo platform? Oh my gosh, they're making this really difficult. Oh, this is the most difficult question on the entire questionnaire. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if you guys are ready for this. This is really difficult. A burger from Nintendo World. Summer Sammy, why didn't I think of that? That's a really good one. Okay, so are you guys ready for this? This is really difficult. <sighs> oh, this and you have to pick one? You had to pick one from the list below. Oh. Okay. The Legend of Zelda. I know! How dare they? This is so hard. The Legend of Zelda. Pokemon. Super Mario Bros. Xenoblade Chronicles. Metroid. As I'm reading this, I I literally imagine myself just going down with the marker. <laughs> This is so hard. Super Smash Bros. Animal Crossing. Fire Emblem. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm looking at all you guys' answer because I like don't know. This is so difficult. <laughs> you know, I see a lot of Pokemon in the chat right now though. I see a lot of Pokemon. Alright, I'm gonna go for Pokemon. It's happening. Pokemon get our answer. Okay, so um question A. Boom. Done. Two G. Two G. Um <laughs> three B. Four A. Wow, this is really interesting. Five question five A. Question 6A, uh, question 7A, let me see, question 8G, question 9 is F, 
I think this determines our job. I am so scared. Question B, question 10 B. Okay, so I have to add these up and then I have to look up the number here. Where's my cell phone? <laughs> Cause there's no way I could do this math in my head. I'm not good at math guys. Maybe I should ask him, who was really good at math? Who passed, I forgot who passed their test. Sean, <laughs> I think you said you passed your test, your math test, right? Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so luckily it's highlighted. So 10 plus four plus eight plus three plus 10 plus five plus six plus seven plus seven plus four equals 64. Okay, so 64. Nope, that's not the one. Oh, I found it! Oh, okay, so are you guys ready? This is what we are. Focus. The black mage. Between 62 and 66, we are most likely going to be a black mage. And it says, if you knew how, wait, if you knew how to do magic, wait, do you? you you'd excel at this offensive type, light up the stove with some fire spells or charge up your phone battery using a well-powered, lightning attack this kind of magic always comes in handy which is funny that it's lightning because my favorite pokemon's pikachu so that's actually pretty awesome very very cool okay very very cool um should i post this on my um twitter if you guys want to do this quiz let me know would you guys be down to do this quiz for yourself and try to find out what um thingy you are what job? Let me know. I'll post this for you guys um, in case you guys wanted to do this because this is actually really fun. Yeah? Okay, I'll post this on Twitter so you guys can do it yourself because um, it is really, really cool. Um, we're all at... <laughs> oh, firmly grasp and happy March 10th Super Mario. Okay, so we have one last package and um, this package is very special. Yeah? Okay. And then let me know, guys, when I post up the quiz, definitely put it um put your answer in the comments below because i would love to see it okay so um the last package ladies and gentlemen um we are going to unbox that right now again this was sent by the nintendo team for mario day in celebration of this glorious day that only comes once a year just like every holiday um but it is special because it's a pun in itself so, um, <laughs> I'm really excited to uh, unbox this with you guys. Um, Mario time, let's go! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the top. Boom, done, let's go, cutting the side. Again, I'm going to unbox this and face it towards you guys as per usual. Very careful with the X-Acto, but not really. Um, <laughs> I need to learn how to properly unbox things. Okay, so oh, oh, I'm gonna go ahead. It has my name on it. <laughs> I see it has my name on it. Ah! Okay, so um, oh, ooh. Okay, so. I don't know what this is. Can I be honest? I'm just gonna, there's nothing in the box. Nothing else in the box. I'm gonna go ahead um, and and cut it. Should I just tear it? I'm gonna tear it. We're gonna be monsters today. <laughs> oh, what is this? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what is this? Oh, it's a shirt. Oh, that is so cute. It's okay. It's in celebration. I think this is a shirt celebrating the 35th anniversary um, of Super Mario Bros. This is really, really cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and whip this out real quick. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Uh, you know, oh, I actually like that box. I don't know why I threw it. It's like out of habit. I actually really like that box. <laughs> I 
I should probably keep that box later. It's so cool though. This is awesome. Whoops. And it comes out of habit. I just did it. Ugh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Oh, this is cool. Lord Eddie, absolutely. Okay. <gasps> this is Mario Odyssey themed, and the colors are so bright. And that's why it's really hard to find shirts where the colors actually pop. But no, they put it on thick. Look at that. They put that on thick. Okay, so <gasps> this is cute. Oh, and the details, guys. The details. I mean, look at that. Mmm. D. Tails. Very cute. I think at the end of this stream when the video goes live, I'll put a link to their store. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I saw on Twitter they're having 35% off on their merchandise. Don't quote me. I saw it real quick on my Twitter feed, but I would definitely check that out. Again, huge thank you to Nintendo for sending this very special box on Mario Day! That is so cute. They put it on thick, guys! Yo, and it's official Merc. Guys, it's official. Oh my gosh! Okay, and then look at the back. Dude, the details! Guys, I don't know if they know this, but I love details. I absolutely love, love details. Um, Ryan Thompson, hi, hello there. Hi. Uh, very, very cool. Oh my gosh. Guys, it is thick. I can't, I can't stop saying it, but I don't, I, I'm pretty sure you guys can relate. Have you guys ever gotten a t-shirt? where it it's like really thin so i'm gonna give you guys an example this i don't think is official merch i don't remember but this is pretty light so i actually went and grabbed fabric paint and painted over these letters so they're brighter i don't know if you guys know that <laughs> you hear it here first um but this is actually really thick and i don't need to do that because sometimes i'll order t-shirts and they're not very thick when it comes to the ink. And I'm just like, ugh, I'll just go and buy fabric paint and literally sit there and paint on the t-shirt, like go over their outline. Um, so <laughs> I'm actually really happy that this quality is just really, really good. Um, Nintendo, yo. Okay, so I don't know what else is in here. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, it's pins. <gasps> oh. Oh, is this the- Oh my god, I got two sets of pins, guys. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Guys. <gasps> we should put this on the pin board! We're putting this on the pin board, guys. This is going on the pin board. Okay, so. Very cute, old classic logo. Look at that. Super classic and old and good. Mario pins! Yeah! <gasps> Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, Mario Odyssey. Should I bring the pin board in here? It's really big, guys. I don't know if you guys ever seen my pin board, but long story short, I went to the craft store, saw a pin board. It came in several sizes. And me being actually a very small person, people think I'm really tall in, in real life. I'm not. I'm actually very short. I'm like 5'2". Um, and I looked at it and I was just like, is this pin board big enough? And I was just like, you know what? Maybe I should go for the extra large. So I went for the extra large, decided to put all my pins on the pin board, and then realized that it didn't cover the amount of space that I thought it was gonna cover. So, um, <laughs> let me um, bring the pin board in here so we can post these on the pin board together. Um, give me one second. I'm gonna go grab it. I'm gonna grab it. It's really big guys though, so um, I apologize. It's it's gigantic. <laughs> I always laugh because like I didn't realize how big this was. And I feel like I overcompensate because I'm so small that I feel like everything's already big so I need to go gigantic so anyways this I don't know how to fit this what do I do <laughs> what do I do chat let me know <laughs> is this big enough <laughs> boom <laughs> so um so yeah I um <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna like reposition this. Okay. Okay, so 
This is better, I think, right? This is. <laughs> this is a. Oh, I don't know what to do, guys. Oh, 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 chair. Oh, yes, chair. Okay, so the chair is gonna help us out today. <laughs> this is. <laughs> this is really big. <laughs> so, look how big this is. What's the measurement of this? Can I. Okay, let me show you guys. I'm stepping on the. Um... <laughs> I'm stepping on the packaging. Okay, so, with my ruler. <laughs> yeah, this is the ruler. See, look, this is 12 inches right now. This is gigantic. <laughs> so I don't even know, I don't even know what to do with this, to be honest. Cause am I really gonna cover this entire board with pins? <laughs> oh, I mean, hey, if Nintendo keeps on sending me pins though, I mean, I don't, you never know. Uh, I gotta I got get bigger. The more the merrier. That is, it's absolutely gigantic. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put these pins on together. Ooh, can you guys see the type of pins I have on here? Though, so, <laughs> you can't even see the pins that I have on here. Um, I have Disney and I have Nintendo pins. My favorite one is the Super Smash Bros. one that's right here. I wish I could zoom in for you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lift this up. This is way too big. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the pins on there. Um, way too funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm ever gonna fill this, to be honest. I'm being legitimately honest. I never know. I don't think I'm gonna fill this, um, because this is way too many pins. But hey, if you guys send me pins, I will put it on this board, yo. Which actually, Calvin has got me a lot of pins, and they're on here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the pins on there. Oh, this backing is so strong. Oh, it's so sharp. Watch me hurt myself. Okay. So, first pin on there. Wow, so cute! Okay. I like to try to put it on there so it kind of like meshes together. Does that make any sense? Ah, uh, Isabel. Oh, that actually might fit. I think that might fit. I'm gonna go here. Okay. Boom! Pin. <laughs> What'd you do to today, Christine? I, uh, I opened a package from Nintendo and then I decided to try to fill my pin board. <laughs> um, I know, it's gigantic and huge. Okay, so the next one is going to be Mario and Cappy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that somewhere. Will that fit? Uh, oh, this is a good spot! Ooh, right in between the Pikachu one. Boom! Okay. Uh, the next one is the Mario Odyssey logo. Pretty good logo. Ow! <laughs> I stabbed myself. Oh! That hurt. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here. Oh, oh no, right? Yeah, that's actually really good. That's a good spot. Heck yeah. Okay, boom. Done. Um, wait, who's going? Who's going? Let me know. Before you guys go, let me know if you're going so I can say bye to you. Um, don't pick the chair, Chris. Um, yeah, I still have him, Calvin. Um, <laughs> Mystic Zero, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Take care of yourself and bye. Okay, so we're done with this set. Mario Odyssey. Now we're gonna go for the classic look, Penny Arcade. So these are by Penny Arcade. Uh, Penny, Penny or Penny? Pen Penny Arcade. Very very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Sean, you had to go too. Oh, we were vibing today. We were on sync, bro. I don't know what was up, but you and me though. It was happening, it was happening. I'll see you next time though. Thank you so much Sean for coming in. Bye, I appreciate you. Enjoy the rest of your week, stay safe, bye. Okay, so we're trying to take these out. These are like really tough pins. <laughs> Yo, the quality is really good. Maybe a little too good. Um, <laughs> oh, I like the look of these classic ones though because they're surrounded by the metal, um, the silver metal. And I love silver pins, like silver, burnished gold pins so i actually really really like this look i'm gonna put it over here eh. oh does that fit maybe right here boom 
Oh, that might be too close. Oh, I can't take it out. Oh, no. Oh, this is stuck. <laughs> my, my, uh, I'm so, like, I'm, like, way too, uh, how do you say this? I'm such a perfectionist. I really want to put this in this space. And I don't want every pin to touch. Like, I don't want it to touch. I kind of want it to, like, blend in. So I'm very particular when it comes to placing my pins. <laughs> um, Penny Arcade. Yes, these are actually really good. Um, founders of the Penny Arcade Expo. Packs? Whoa, really? That is so... Sergeant, how do you know this trivia? You're always so knowledgeable. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you so much for um, informing us and educating us. That's really, really cool. Okay, so I'm going to put this... Oh, I'm going to put this over here. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so boom. Done. Okay, and the last one is the classic Super Mario Bros. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there. Sean Nan, thank you so much. I'll see you. Bye, Sean. You take care. Hope to see you next time when I stream. Okay, so my desk is so messy. Okay, so <laughs> I think I'm gonna put it right there. Ooh, no, because that's gonna be too hard, I think to put any other pin there. So I put it right here. I think that's pretty good actually. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right there. So hey, you know, I think the coolest thing is that you guys get to see this pin board eventually be filled up a little bit more. Um, oh, should I show you guys? Let's see how far this goes. <laughs> We're gonna keep going and it stops. <laughs> so this is the pins that we have so far. Pretty cool, right? So let me know which one's your favorite so far that you see. But as you can see, Jay and I have a particular taste. That's one of my favorite ones. That's a Super Smash Bros. one. It's pretty big. Um, but yeah, that's what we have so far. So very, very cool. Yay. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to take this giant board away. <laughs> it's so funny because I literally was at the store staring at it like this, and I was just like, this is a good size. I actually thought that that was a good size. And obviously, it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> way too big, way too big. Um, so, <laughs> my favorite is the Persona 5 pin. Oh, that pin is so, like, hard to get. Cause it, is, it was actually at E3, um, and you had to go in line um, to go get it at the Atlas booth. So it was very, very interesting to try to, try to get. I think I have two of them. I'm not entirely sure. I have to double check. Um, Calvin, so Build a Bear will be making Animal Crossing plushies for us to build. Yes, and let me know, chat, what Animal Crossing character would you love to see in Build a Bear form? Um, because if they have fauna, game over. Game over. Because, yo, I'm I'm really excited. Um, speaking of Bell Bag, wait, what do you mean Bell Bag? <gasps> Boom! Bell Bag from Nintendo 2 which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so, Cause it's just chilling up there. So I was just like, <gasps> bell bag. I got distracted. Um, my favorite Splatoon 2, Zucker. Oh, that'd be so cool. Goldie and Tom Nook, Zucker. Yo, there's two. Okay, Zucker is pretty, pretty cool. I like that. So let me know guys, what we would like to see um, as an Animal Crossing Build-A-Bear. I think it's really, really cool. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more collaborations coming out very, very soon. Um, so I wanted to get into the next couple of Nintendo DIYs coming soon. Um, this one I'm really excited for. So, the Pokemon Legends theme one is one of my favorite ones. I'm really excited to show you guys. And I think it's something you guys will actually display at home. Um, and so, <laughs> I'm really excited. And so, the next Nintendo DIY, and this is not finished. Obviously, this is like close from being finished. But I'll be teaching you guys how to make the Legends of, sorry, the Legends of Zelda, whoa. Um, Pokemon Legends Pokeball that was featured, Arceus, the, the, like, the original Pokeball, I guess, um, before the actual Pokeball came out, because apparently Steam comes out from the top or something like that. Um, so, and it's real wood, look at that, the realness. So I'm gonna resin this, and it's gonna look really cool. It's an actual size of a Pokeball, it's like perfect. It's like so cool. So I can't wait to teach you guys how to make the the Pokeball. Isn't that really cool? I'm so cool. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, this is the the Arceus Pokeball, I guess, is what some people are calling it. 
Um, really, really excited. Arceus. Ar Arceus. Oh, Arceus. Isn't it Arceus? I was saying it wrong. Arceus. Um, yeah, it's real, real wood. And when I resin it, the color of the wood is going to really pop out. Um, so it's going to look really, really... <gasps> I'm so excited. Maybe I should make several and give them away to you guys. Would that be something that you guys would be interested in? Maybe on Twitter? I could make like several and then just like pass them out like candy. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me know. Um, Arceus. Ar Arceus. Am I saying it right? Anyways, the next one um, that you guys have seen already <clears throat> is, of course, the Pokemon Snap Display Pin Board. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm not doing this right. Um, okay, so Pokemon... I'm just gonna do this. Pokemon Pin Board Display. Boom. Look at that. I'm gonna try to really get a good look at... Nope. Over here. Boom! Look at all the Pokeballs! Let me know which one is your favorite Pokeball, guys. Um, so these are actual pins. Um, and you can obviously pin your pictures on there or anything like that. So very, very... Um, and yeah, I made all 63. Well, actually, no, I made 62. There's 63 in total. Um, and I made 62 of them. 62 of them. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to fix... Ah! I'm trying to fix this right now. Sorry. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, so fixed. Um, okay, so <laughs> uh, that's one Nintendo DIY or two, two, two Nintendo DIYs. Um, <laughs> Master Ball's her favorite. Awesome. The next Nintendo DIY is, of course, the Pokeball Garland, which I showed last time. But keep in mind, I'm making all the Pokeballs. So, Pokeball Garland. But like I said, I'm making all the Pokeballs. So, here is the Dream Ball. Isn't that cool? Um, so, eventually, it'll look like this. Isn't that cool? Look at the Master Ball! And the Great Ball! And the Diamond Ball! Which actually has crystals on there! Um, <laughs> see the crystals? Diamond Ball! So yeah, we're making all the Pokeballs um, on this garland. This is the, um, I guess, the wreath version. So you can actually tie string across and then hang pictures this way too. So very, very cool. Very, very cool. Um, I think that's the third Nintendo DIY. Oh gosh. I have another Pokemon themed Nintendo DIY coming soon. I don't want this to fall. This is gonna fall somehow. Okay. Um, and then what was the other one? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then the other one, um, I'll be teaching you guys how to make Pokeball charms again, but it requires less materials. It's a lot easier, I promise. Um, and I actually found um, wood, wooden small beads that you can use to make your own Pokeball charms. That you can give away. I'll make all 62 again. Um, and then, yeah, you guys can do whatever you want. Maybe I should give 62 necklaces away on Twitter. Is that crazy? I think that's crazy. That's really ambitious of me. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah. Um, so the charms again. If you guys don't know, I've done a Pokeball charm video before. Very, very old. Um, and I'm, I want to update it because I found obviously an easier way. Um, and that way you're not starting from scratch. Um, and this is a lot easier than having to roll the clay put the pin in the middle, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So, um, it's a lot easier and I'm really excited to show that to you guys. Um, but those are all the Nintendo DIYs coming and I have to edit all five videos and it's a lot, but yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys and I would love to give away all these things that I make because there's way too many things. So, 
<laughs> way too many things. Please wear Animal Crossing DIYs is there a DIY Nintendo decor for Nintendo DIY? Absolutely. I'll be making a lot, a lot more. I have some other projects. You guys can tell I'm very busy, right? Very busy. Um, I have a lot more other projects in the works, not just the Nintendo DIYs that I'm working on. So I'm very busy, I'm very busy, but I'm really trying. I'm really hoping to get everything set and going. And once I have these videos done and edited, I'll feel a lot better to just stream. Um, and I think it'd be really, really awesome. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys what I've been really sweating over, putting my heart and soul into, because I really want you guys to enjoy these Nintendo DIYs and to be able to display them at home. You know, like that would be so, so cool. So, um, oh, Phoenix, just take your time. Thank you. It's been really hectic on my end. There were days where it was just really hard, but there are way more better days than bad days. And you guys honestly, honestly keep me going every single day, regardless of how hard the day tends to turn out sometimes. Um, at the end of the day, I'm reminded how amazing and supportive you guys are. And you guys keep me going for reals. Um, so again, huge thank you to BenQ and Zowie for sending the first package. Huge thank you to Nintendo for say sending the Braverly Default 2 package with the treasure chest and crystals and quiz, which I'll be uploading on um, my Twitter so you guys can do your own quiz because I would love to see what you guys is come up with. I mean, I can't wait. Um, and then um, obviously the Happy Mario Day package uh, from Nintendo, which helped us fill our pin board a little bit more, a little bit more, just a little bit. So thank you so much for spending time with me here today, guys. Um, I'm really, really excited to show you guys what I've been working on. I promise I'm working really hard. I promise I really am. I'm really trying to get this content out there for you guys. Um, but man, you guys keep me going. So um, thank you, thank you so much. Can you maybe make Let's Plays? I would love to. That's like my dream. I just work on so many things. Ugh. And then I put myself in a huge rut by trying to do all 62 Pokeballs. Do you know how hard it is to do all 62 Pokeballs for three Nintendo DIYs? I'm crazy. I'm, I'm honestly crazy. I don't even know how I do it sometimes. But nonetheless, um, I really appreciate you guys every single time when I stream. You guys are in here supporting me and my work. And I would be doing these things with Nintendo if it weren't for you guys and the community that we've built. So huge pat on the back for you guys um, on Mario Day. I, again, will try to give away a lot of things for you guys. So especially when those Pokeball necklaces come out. <laughs> I will definitely be giving you guys some because you guys absolutely deserve everything. Everything I have, I want to give to you. Um, so, yes, absolutely. Before you guys go, make sure you guys say bye in the chat because I'll say bye to you guys in real life. Murray's not here. He's not. He definitely did not want to join the party today. <laughs> I think he's asleep because I woke him up really er like early and he slept really late. So... Um, but thank you so, so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. So, again, before you go, please say bye in the chat. I'll say bye in your life. Huge thank you to the mods today. So, Phoenix and Sergeant and Calvin for coming in here and modding. David for always coming in here like always. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Adele Khan. Bye. Claudio Montiel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Um, again cannot do this without you guys and thank you for spending time with me today on mario day a very very special day for the nintendo community uh Devante edwards bye chill the beats take care of yourself stay safe i love you book fan 08 bye iron gamer animations that's actually really iron gamer animations bye bye i'll see you thank you so much for stopping by tech guru um, thank you so much. Do a collab with Emmy Maid. I don't even know who that is, but remind me. I will check them out. Um, poor Murray, I know. <laughs> Summer Sammy, thank you so much for coming in here. We were vibing too. I felt your energy. 
It was good. Oh, Mari, thank you so much. Josh, you, L Dragon Gaming, Mustang Mania 50, thank you so much. Smash Boy 64, um, Julian Johnson. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Happy, happy Mario Day. Please take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day, your week. I hope to stream very, very soon again with you guys. And of course, stay safe. See you soon. And thank you so much. Enjoy your Mario Day. Bye!